Hello everyone and welcome back to Genie Crafts. In my last video, I took you through the basics of how to prepare a string portrait. And in that video, I showed you a template which was just a sequence of numbers. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to generate that template. So first of all, open your Chrome browser or Internet Explorer or any browser that you use and go to Google and there type string art generator online now you will receive a lot of results majority of them are paid sites but then there is this one free website which is a github website which allows you to generate free templates now some of the other websites have more features uh, which allows you to position the image correctly you know and uh, you know, do other sorts of stuff maybe generate better templates also but this free websites does the job pretty well so I'm going to take you through this free website now when you open the website this is how the interface looks the first parameter that you need to provide is the number of pins so in my last string portrait I used 180 pins and it was a pretty huge hardboard uh, it was almost uh, around I think more than 45 50 centimeters diameter uh, that hardboard was so even on that hardboard 180 pins means that at every two degree you are putting a nail or a pin and even after that the space between the pins was not that great so if you want to put more than 180 pins then in that case you will need even bigger port but the biggest problem is that this site does not allow you to put 360 pins the total number of degrees in a circle so your limitation is 288 nails or pins so to be on a safer even number of nails let's just simply put 180 pins now the maximum number of lines by default is 4000 this means that the total number of loops that you need to create and let it be 4000 because it keeps displaying the total number of loops it has created when it starts to generate template and you can keep an eye on the number at which point you feel that the template is good enough for you to you know uh, to stop so you can keep it at 4000 but if you want you can reduce it to 3000 also for majority of the cases you will find you get decent enough template between 3000 to 3500 line weight is the thickness of the thread that you are going to use it will not show in the output on the website but then you have to mentally imagine that you know if uh, the total number of lines are 4000 and you are using uh, let's say a woolen thread uh, then in that case it's all going to go completely black you will not be able to see anything so keep the line weight at 20. now the second important aspect is the kind of image that you are going to use okay so uh, before i show you the images let me just simply select one for you so click here to select the image so this was the image which i used to generate my previous template so i'm simply just going to select this image now what the software does or the website does is it crops the image as you can see it has cropped the image it crops uh, at the center of your image so for you to be able to good results your image should be in a square shape if it's not then in that case you can crop the image into a square shape so that the face is the most prominent feature in the image because rest of it doesn't make that much sense in a string portrait it the prominent feature of your image should be the face and once you have selected the image after a few seconds it starts drawing now it will show you the total completion done plus it will show you the total lines it has completed and you have to wait you know uh, till the total number of lines that you have put here gets completed now as it starts to put lines on here you can clearly see that the image or the face starts to develop now keep a eye on the number the moment you feel that the face has come properly it's going to look good in the portrait you can keep that number in mind and you can generate this template again by simply just putting that particular number in the number of lines but it's recommended that you let it complete its iteration so I'll just wait while it completes now as the number of lines increase you see that the entire portrait starts to get darker 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 but you need to let it get dark to a certain level 
so that the contrast between the hair and the face and the eye and the shadows on the face is clearly visible after some time it will start to come out now i could have stopped it at 2500 or 2700 also it need not go to 3000 but 3000 also looks good enough now in this particular photo the template has come decently good once the software has generated then you get this sequence of number and you can just copy paste in a document and take a print out of it it also shows you how to generate how to follow these lines so if you click at start creating it will show you this is the first line from here till here then next step then next step then next step and it will keep on telling you what is the next step that you need to draw all right so that's how you generate now let's try to understand why selection of proper image is important so this time let me select a image which is not square in shape so let's say i select something like this now see the entire face has cut off because it will just position it centrally and cut out a circle Im circular image from there and then it will try to generate the template from that obviously this is not going to come good so i'm just going to abort it to abort anything you just select a new image the image that i had actually utilized originally was this one now as you can see that if i select this the face gets cut off so what i did was that on a ppt i copy pasted this image where is that image yes here it is i copy pasted it and i cropped it into almost a square so that when the system crops it on its own in a circular image it captures maximum of the details here once it is there you right click on it and you save it as a picture let's say test 4 Now this time the face is captured properly because I have already cropped the image into a square shape and after some time it will start generating the template. Now the kind of images that you need to use should be of real high resolution and good quality. Uh it has to be very sharp. There has to be good contrast between the shadow areas and light areas on the image. If the contrast is not there, it's just not going to work. Now I know this particular image is going to work but I will show you an example of an image where it is not going to work at all so I'll just wait for this to generate Now these images that I have selected are really high contrast images so you can see the portrait starts to form very early on even when not all the lines have been drawn at half the value it, the portrait becomes visible but if the image is not high contrast or the image is not proper then it will just not work out and it will look like a ghostly output of the same image now this has come out really good now let's try some random image where it's just not going to come out let's take this image let's see how it comes out also initially i thought you know that i need to convert my photograph into a silhouette image or a gray scale but you actually don't need to do that if you use a silhouette image or uh, or you know png type of vectorized image then the output is really bad the image needs to have all that different shades when it gets converted into the gray scale by the system otherwise the output will not be good so use the regular photographs the system all automatically takes care of converting it into a gray scale image and then generate the output now as you can see even right now there are too many lines that are coming onto the face at very early into the portrait generation and it's just not going to look good at the end it will look slightly ghostly at the end so let's see how the final output comes out so while it has captured the essence of the image that i supplied 
for the template generation it looks very dark and even with a very thin thread it's not going to come come out good because there is too many threads that are crisscrossing the face area and it's just not lo- uh, going to look good i know because i tried it already on this image and it did not come out good so that's it guys and uh, this is how you generate the template you simply copy these numbers uh you start your naming convention of the nails on your hardboard from 0 and go till 1 minus the total number of nails so the numbering of the nails will start from 0 and end on 179 and these are the total number of lines that you generate now even if when you are creating the portrait you feel at 2500 uh, loops that okay my portrait looks good enough now you can stop uh, because these are very sequential even even if i generate for 2500 lines the sequence of number will remain exactly same till 2500 so it's always best to generate few more extra lines and decide to utilize or not utilize when you are actually making the portrait so that's how you generate the template guys and just simply control a to select everything control c and in a word document you can simply just paste these numbers and keep following the sequence so i hope this tutorial was helpful with regards to how to generate the template for string portrait this is one of the free websites which i came across after a lot of research so i hope you guys enjoy creating your own templates and generating your own string portraits uh If you guys like the video then please do not forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends and I will see you guys in the next video till then stay safe take care and bye bye